How accurate is a Zillow estimate? For that matter, how accurate is any online website's value of your house? That's what we're going to talk about today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley. I specialize in selling homes that are in trust and probate and helping seniors when they need to downsize. And today I'm going to talk to you about those Zillow estimates. Or if you go to Trulia and look up what's the value of my home. Honestly, I'm here to say almost never are they accurate. And how can they be? It's literally a computer generating that number. A house is way more than just the number of bedrooms or the size of it or the size of the lot, especially in Silicon Valley. One of the biggest things are school districts. What school district you're in? You can be in Los Gatos. Your neighbor can be zoned for Los Gatos school district. You can be down the street, same Los Gatos address, but you go to Los Gatos Union School District, that can be an upwards of a $200,000 price difference. A computer doesn't know that all the time. They also don't know if you've upgraded your backyard. They don't know if you've updated the kitchen, blown out wall. They don't know anything. A funny little story is the CEO of Zillow went to sell his house a couple years ago. The Zillow estimate said it was worth $1.75 million. Guess what he sold it for? Just over 1 million. It was off by 40%. So here's some stats. This one article says they're within 10% of the selling price. Here's one talks about whether it's off market or on market. I mean, look at that. It ranges from being within 5% right to 20% right. Here's Trulia's estimate. Again, they're just talking about what the publicly available information is to them to be able to make the decision. Well, that's not useful. Redfin's, are they accurate? They're saying that theirs are the most accurate. They say they're within, what, 2%, 1.77%. What about Realtor.com? They say that those are the most accurate. So let's look at a couple real life examples. This one was a house from Los Altos back in 2018. So we started the highest at over 3 million, high twos, and it sold for less than all of those estimates. Then we can look at another one. This is from 2019 in Los Altos Hills. I mean, seriously, how far wrong were they? It started over 4 million and it sold for just, you know, almost two six. And finally, one from 2020 that was in San Jose in the Cambrian area. Look at over 1 million. At least they were all pretty close to each other and it sold under, so 900. Your best bet is always to get a human being to give you a value of your house. Someone that's experienced, whether it's a realtor or an appraiser. So the bottom line is don't trust these online estimates. They're very rarely accurate. So that's it for today. If you liked anything I said, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, it really helps me. And until next time, have a great one.